I can twerk. I'm going to go to church and then I'm going to come home and twerk. Do those things even go together? Thank you. Like that? Yeah. You know, praise him. I think maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this is a prayer moment or not. It could be a sinner. <laughs> it could be a repent moment. We have it right now. I'm not sure. Either way. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's keep going. All right. So does he got to be in Alabama? No, please don't. All right. What's the age range you want to date? Huh? What is the age range? Okay, I'll do like 35 to 45. 35 to 45. Yeah. Do you have kids already? That's fine. Because okay. anyone, anyone have- coming to my life, they got to accept me or mine. So if they got okay. kids, I'm, I'm open for that. That's fine. Does he have to look a certain way? Can you, I, don't, I don't want the big belly. You know what I mean? The big belly thing. You know, that too much stomach. Just tone it down. Like, too much stomach. You know? Just no big belly. A big belly, okay. You know, like, but um, one, like, but two hundred pounds supposed to be, you know, that's decent enough. But the big belly thing, and you can't have more stomach more than I do. That's what I'm saying. No more stomach. Oh, okay, okay. This is a all right. They asking for a girl. You know what's coming, Kendra Cam. We got to see your full body. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. You hear him whispering? Y'all hear him whispering? That little boy ain't go no damn where. That little boy didn't go any damn where. So he heard all that BS. He was whispering, y'all. Hold on. Um, oh, I want my mom. Ma- you heard what your mama was saying? What she no, ma'am. Was but I time? want my mama to have a dark skinned, black, beautiful man. What is going on here right now? What is going on right here right now? That's why I'm telling you, he didn't leave the room. He heard all of that. He heard all of that. He just took this conversation over like he is the daggone father in the room. This is not funny. This is not cute. And Kendra won't act like it, it's not what? Not a big deal. And she ain't going to say nothing, but she's going to sit up here and have all that to say to Jesse. This is freaking ridiculous. I'm trying to understand. I get all my daggone videos demonetized. How is this still up when it's a daggone kid on a show that starts after 10 p.m. up here like this in this type of conversation? Where is YouTube when you need him? And I want him, he need to know how to cook and drive and everything. Take me to school every morning, work and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude. Is he looking for a man? I'm sorry, is this kid looking for a man? Because he certainly got a damn list together. He got a better list than the damn mother. Sheesh. Okay. (laughs) You ready, Kendra? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Look at that beautiful black woman right there. What in the hell is going on? on it i uh oh it's moving too fast luke casely said the mom is raising the boy to be her girlfriend don't he sound like it don't he sound like it right mona d this is so inappropriate so inappropriate but this video still remains up i can't she gonna talk about not having no big belly person now, listen, I know that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I know that she was being caught off guard with this because he just called. But there's so many things wrong here with this whole situation. And Kendra should have shut it the F down. And you two be nosing in on every daggone thing. But they, you tell, you trying to tell me they missed this bullshit? Look at that. No, I'm going to your mouth. <laughs> what are they in a um a, a salon you see this chair this is a salon chair y'all she said she's a phlebotanist i guess she do hair or something this is definitely a chair for um for getting your hair done what'd you say you said look at that beautiful black mother right there <laughs> yes ma'am look at that beautiful queen Thank <laughs> you.
Um, if, if your son don't hype you up like him, <laughs> you gotta get a new son. But wait, go, go back to your son for one second. Um, well, oh, and she wanna keep talking to him. She wanna keep talking to him? Okay. Okay, ma'am. Got it. What are the things this man got to do? You say he gotta take you to school every day. Yeah, he gotta take me to school. He gotta treat me right. He gotta buy me like most of the Jordans. It made me looking at fleet on we gotta go visit Florida, Jamaica. We gotta go visit everywhere. He gotta be nice. At least have a little bankroll on him and let me have some oh of that. <sighs> so where so where is he getting all this from? He sounds like a woman. Allegedly. He's sitting around he's sitting. Listen, this is what Kevin Samuels was saying about young men being raised by women alone. I'm not saying that there's anything going on with this kid, but y'all can't tell me that he don't sound feminine, first of all. Second of all, this list that he's given out, his list is better than the freaking mother's list. Is he sitting in his room trying to figure out his list? <laughs> He sounds like he need wet cigarettes. <laughs> That's exactly who he sounds like, right? I can't do this. This is so disgusting. Yo. Right. What, what is going on? I, uh, this is why you need a man to raise a son or to be in his life on a regular. You think that this woman is pulling this kid's father into the life? Oh, I'm sorry, into his life, allowing him to be a part of his life. I know she said it's him. He had to go. He got kicked out. He lied, he lied, he lied. That's fine between you and him. That's got nothing to do with him and him. And they need to be spending more time together because this young man right here is already got some issues, okay? I was saying, Kevin Samuel said that he was around a bunch of daggone women and people tried to say that his tendencies were feminine, but that's because he was raised by a bunch of women. Where are you going to get the masculine from if you are around a bunch of women? Y'all probably say, Biatch, you was raised around a bunch of men. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Let me stop. But I'm just saying this is ridiculous. So we don't hear these problems right now listening to this kid. This is a hot damn mess. She, al she allowed him to sit there and hear that conversation. Now he out here taking the camera from her. When do 10 year olds take your damn phone like that and then start talking about you in front of how many people you don't know? Knowing that this is going to be replayed over and over and over again. Oh yeah, we going, of course we was going to talk about it, child. I ain't know it was this bad though. Now watch, now watch YouTube demonetize it when I clip this out and put it up. Watch. I know that's what they're going to do. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Ain't nothing about this funny that they laughing like this. Ain't nothing about this funny for her both to be laughing like this. <laughs> Apologize, I apologize, okay? <laughs> I apologize. Everyone, I'm sorry. 614, yeah. I apologize. I found my heart out. Now, listen, we got a few more questions. Okay. Your side, your side got your side added to him and stuff. So, say your name for me one more time. Ashaki. Okay. When was the last relationship? Oof. Three, three years? Okay. Now, I don't know, Kai, you, I want you to answer this question because you was real graphic. You don't have to answer. Okay. I would like for you to answer. Okay. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? What, three years ago? You have that sex in three years? Yeah. Oh, wow. The way you was talking, I thought you three days, three hours, three minutes ago. So. No, Kendra. I don't want, oh, I don't want nobody tap on this like this. Nobody can just get a tap in my little juice box. No. That, ooh, that ooh. juice box got a lot of respect. I clean her. I keep her tight. So she's tight and right right now, okay? I'm telling you for real. I protect that. I can't do this. I can't do this.
I can't do this. This 10 year old just said, I protect that. So they thought they was talking. To, listen, y'all, I talk, for those that don't have kids, because I know y'all that have kids, you already know. These Karam Snatchers know every damn thing. They listening, they lurking, they hearing, repeating whatever is going on in your home. Trust and believe their kids know it. And maybe not their kids' uh, parents, because kids don't talk to their parents. But trust me when I tell you, any kid that your kid brings home knows everything going on in your home. Believe me, trust me, they do. They thought they was, I guess, uh, talking in code. He's 10. Now, listen, I'm not trying to act like 10-year-olds don't know about sex. They do, okay? We all know that they do. But you, but she also sat here and talked in front of him, talking about, oh, three years ago, it's tight, it's right, it's wet, it's cushy, but blah, 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 blah. Girl, if it's been really three years, how do you know what it is, first of all? Second of all, again, with the sexualization, let's make sure we put this out on the air. Everybody got to know. Here you go. Here we are. And then you're doing it in front of the kid. She's doing everything in front of this daggone kid. This is the epitome of a son damn husband. And it is not going to bode well for him. They may not even be able to separate the way that they're talking. This little boy is the daggone um, man in the relationship. So how is another man supposed to come in? So some man is supposed to come in and listen to a 10-year-old? Because that's how I see this playing out. If a, if a man even comes in, okay? If it's been three years, what's the problem? What is the problem? It's been three years. Because she got her son to take the place of the man. Hell, they probably sleep together allegedly. I'm not saying anything. But this is so beyond inappropriate and they all think this is cute. What you say? What you say? I said I protect that. That's that's mine until I, I see that that man deserves it. That's She's just sitting here letting him talk. She's just sitting. He's quoting this so well. He's said it before. He, qu he quoting this like he talking about A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And she don't have a problem with it. I agree with Robert Dalton. If the genders were reversed, the cops would have knocked down the father's door during the live call. Exactly. Exactly. This is so, so inappropriate. Basically, somebody, uh, sorry, it moved too quickly. Somebody said that he's the PIMP. He definitely is. This is so disgusting. And, and this is how kids end up outside at 2.30 and 3 a.m. red rumming older gentlemen for no damn reason. It's mine. I, mean, it's yours. I protect it's, it's, that. Kendra. You protect yeah, I protect it. Nobody don't hit that until I say so. <laughs> so they they all just going to laugh. They're, this is not a, if this is not a smack them in the mouth moment, then I don't know what is. Oh, because this is what he typically would, you know, do. And listen, I'm of, I'm of the generation that you're not going to sit up here and act like you run shit. You don't pay for nothing up in this piece. And you talk negatively or nasty like that, you get one look and then I'm going to smack you in the mouth real quick. Without hesitation. Shout out to Al for the 99. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. If you haven't, please go ahead and um, like the stream. I appreciate you. If you're new, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Sorry to put you through this, but this is the part two ghetto section, clearly. Clearly. I mean, I just I just started it out as ghetto because we had it, uh, technological issues, but this is truly ghetto. And they both want to laugh. Like, this is not funny. This is this is very concerning. Very, very, very concerning. He knows too damn much. This little boy knows too damn much. Shout out to Kenneth J. Single motherhood at its finest, son, husband, and no shame. It's disgusting. For real. <laughs> <Can't drink. laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm 
I'm sorry, Kendra. <laughs> Kendra, I apologize. I apologize. Everyone out. I apologize. He said nobody don't hit that until he say so. Kendra, I apologize. And, and again, I saw someone ask who is Jesse. Jesse is uh, one of the callers from Kendra G's show that was a white woman who was um, had some sort of issues. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it was, but you could see that she was slow, I will call it. And she had a kid, but she knew she knew how to call into the show and she knew she wanted a black man and she had her kid already, but Kendra handled her with kid gloves. Oh, are you really ready? Should you be dating? Should you be doing this? Handled her with kid gloves. This comes up, and I ain't see her saying nothing like, ma'am, this is inappropriate. We're not doing this. Click. Click. She went through all this. Now she's sitting here laughing. This is where I, this is where I hold Kendra responsible. Because we got to be responsible out here if we're going to be on YouTube with this stuff, okay? Now, this is a reaction, and I don't like it. I didn't realize it was this daggone bad, y'all. But I'm trying to say at this point, this is the problem with women raising single mothers. Yes, I'm saying it, especially raising sons. You have no discretion. You don't, you don't have a, separate, a separation from an adult and a child. You're using this kid as a um, son husband. And honestly, I wish Coach Greg Adams would review this too, honestly. He's very good with the son husband stuff. So if this little wit cigarette boy grows up and say he becomes a Kevin Durant, he'll be over here kissing his mother in the mouth. Now, listen, if that's what people want to do, then do you, okay? I stopped kissing my kids in the mouth when they were younger because God knows where their mouths have been. I'm just being honest, okay? You can't be kissing everybody in the daggone mouth. We adults here. Come on now. I Oof, child, this is bad. I apologize. Everyone, I apologize. For real, for real, I apologize. Okay, okay, we we down to the final questions, baby. Girl. Okay, so, uh, why do you think you're single? Because a lot of people be thinking I'm mean and stuck up, and I wouldn't give nobody a try. But if you don't approach me, how are you gonna know if I'm mean or I'm stuck up? I'm not stuck up. What? Here she go blaming again. You know, you can approach people too, ma'am. But you know, the problem probably is, is that the son probably gets in between anyone and says, no, she probably asked the son, can I talk to him? No. Or the son says, I'll let you know who you can talk to. I can hear it. I can hear it. You talk to me. Who child? No, right? Yeah, my phone charge is not working. So let me just get to this. Um, Real quick, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? I'm beautiful. I'm a good mom. I'm a good woman. I'm not a girl. Child, I should have known that she was going to say I'm a good mom, child. I, I, I really want someone to send me a video where a mother says that she is not a good mom. I, I really want someone to give me a definition of a good mother because it seems if your kid is out at 2.30 in the morning, you're a good mom. If your kid manages your vagina, you're a good mom. If your kid is out and red rumming people, you're a good mom. I want to know what a bad mom is because it must not exist. But if you listen to these biatches, it doesn't exist. They're all good. They don't do anything wrong. It's the typical same old, same old. Black women don't do anything wrong. They raise the kids great. The man is always wrong. The man does everything wrong. The man went to jail. The man is a liar. The man wouldn't work. The man was stealing. The man was cheating. The man was over there. He wasn't here. He don't buy nothing. He ain't get no sneakers. He don't make enough money. He don't take me on vacation. He, 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 he. Michael Jackson. He, 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 he. Child, never hear any of them say anything that they do inappropriately, incorrectly, or wrong. It's always someone else, mainly the daggone man. This is so freaking crazy. And then have the audacity, not this biatch, but these biatches have the audacity to be talking about y'all ain't going nowhere. Ain't no passports. Y'all ain't going nowhere to get nobody. Don't nobody want y'all. Don't nobody want y'all. Don't nobody want y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all. Don't nobody want y'all. Say that a lot. 
tend to say that a lot, but who wants y'all? That my question is back to him. Who wants y'all? Who wants this? Who wants to deal with this? Who wants to deal with this foolishness? I got to check in with a 10-year-old before I can smash the mom, the adult. Who would get involved with this, right? Even for a, a pump and dump, right? Why would anyone want to get involved with this? Because then it'll be, he did something to my son. He did something to my kid. It ain't me because I'm a good mama. I'm a good mom. I'm a good woman. I'm a good wife. I'm a good cook. We could just set that to music, child. We could just set it to music after this whole call.